mga kababayan, nagbabalik po tayo. It's nine days to Christmas. And that's why i-feature naman natin ang Manila Collectible. Manila Collectible is a museum and gift shop located in Intramuros in Manila. They uphold our Philippine heritage despite commercialism and corporations taking over the Philippines. They give jobs and workshops to our kababayans in indigenous communities. Naku po, nine days to Christmas, so let's get to know the Manila Collectible. Philippines has more than 110 indigenous groups. Imagine, 110 groups of people with their own language, music, epics, and rituals. No one knows about them. So I started working with indigenous communities. I taught um, sustainable tourism heritage, product development, and I realized that I should bring all of their products here to Manila because this is where the audience is. This is where the market is. Manila is this great big city with 20 million people, but the culture is lost. It's very westernized and it's beautiful, but it's it's missing a lot of things. I didn't know where I was going yet, but everything that I've done since that point in time, since 2004, has led me to the point that I'm in now. I want to promote prehistoric icons, our Philippine icons, promote our indigenous heritage, uplift indigenous products, and in doing so, uplift the communities that I work with. I wanted to have a place where I can promote our icons and historical items and indigenous products um, in a place where it didn't seem so like, like it was antique or it didn't seem so stuffy and dark and so ethnic. I wanted something that was more modern because people now, they don't want to buy local or indigenous products because they think it's handicrafts or for their lola or for their grandparents. So I wanted something younger. So the Manila Collectible Company came about. We work with indigenous communities to create products. This is very important to me. The reason why um, is because a lot of indigenous products the craftsmen or the artisans themselves, they are not part of the production process. They are in terms of making it, but the design, they're losing their designs. They do not dictate their own price, and therefore people take advantage of them. I don't want that. I want the our people, the Filipinos, to benefit from the products that they're making. So I work with the communities and then, you know, we come up with designs that really highlight their identity and their um, culture. And we modify it a little bit to fit modern, the modern times, and they dictate their prices. This is fair trade, right? And then we put it out in the market. And then afterwards, we work on um, their, the financial aspects of it. The Philippines is becoming a very consumerist society. And this is not just the Philippines. This is um, so the world in general. And people are not responsible consumers, meaning they don't know where the item is from. They don't know who made it. They don't know if it actually affects the rainforest or if it's you're using all this plastic. When we do place our products here, we know where the source is from. And what we do is we educate people. The producer, they're not the only ones that benefit, but also the consumer. So it's it works. For me, it works. We are a culture space. We are a museum. We are a one-stop shop. And we also provide heritage tours and workshops. Maraming maraming salamat po. Uh, sa Manila Collectible for the fabric that we will be using on our show next year. Make sure to check them out on Facebook. Thanks so much for joining us. Maraming salamat po.